You may think of TDOT as a department that only builds roads. But did you know we also have an aeronautics division that is responsible for licensing and inspecting 74 airports across Tennessee? At 40 of those sites are important things like this. It may look like a fenced up bunch of machinery in a wide open field, but this is an automated weather observation system, or AWOS. It's very helpful for pilots, the National Weather Service, we get it real time, and even TV meteorologists. The most basic part of weather forecasting starts with what's happening now. AWOS data gives me that information. So what in the world is AWOS exactly? Wind, off, visibility, more than one zero. Sky condition, overcast. It's basically a way to get the latest weather and ground conditions without physically being there. Well, it's extremely important because it lets us know if we can get into that airport or not. Um, and that can save us a lot of time and money. And time is ticking on this particular morning as pilot Wayne Trammell's 8.30 flight to Madisonville is delayed. Altimeter, two. We're still below, the visibility is good and the winds are fine, but we're still below the cloud ceiling that uh, is required for that approach, so we can't get low enough to see the airport. So Trammell keeps checking AWOS until conditions clear for takeoff. TDOT is currently in the process of upgrading all 40 AWOS systems across the state, which means information can not only be collected now via radio and phone, but also on the internet. In Madisonville. And so I can look up here, I, I pull up any airport in the country. And that is something Trammell relies on while in the air. You can be anywhere in the country and find out what the weather's like in Monroe County, what it's like right here on the airport, the value of the airport and the AWOL system to our community. We've had individuals that have moved here simply because we have an airport in this area. All 40 AWAS systems should be updated by 2020 and will cost about two and a half million dollars. The system in Madisonville at the Monroe County Airport is one of the first systems to be upgraded. This is the central processing agent. I'm really excited that it's um, a safety project that was needed and 10 years ago and with the new technology that's out there, you know, it's bringing us into this century. Pilots already notice the difference. Since we've had the new system put in, they are so excited because they said it's crystal clear, it's so informative, it has all the information they need. Temperature 2, 2, Celsius, 2.2, 0. From on the ground here in Madisonville, this is TDOT. The information is then delivered to places like the National Weather Service. Will alert us if there's severe thunderstorm winds with it. Um, you know, we can look and compare you know, Nashville's low temperatures to uh, the other locations that are further out in rural locations where it may hit freezing, whereas Nashville may stay at 40 degrees. Those, that's the kind of information, the detail that we need uh, mm -hmm. to help us do our job. Uh, temperatures yeah. across the mid-state right now. Nashville meteorologist Dan Thomas explains he relies on AWOS every day to deliver his forecast on television. People want to know where the cold front is, where it's moving. People want to know how strong thunderstorms are. AWOS data tells me that. AWOS sites give me that information. So from safe landings to meteorologists, now you can see why the automated weather observation system is sort of a big deal. If you'd like to learn more about AWAS, log on here.